Alice Cooper here. Amber's awfully awesome art. Lori Houston's art. Louise McKay's art. And Angelia Bliss art. You are creating some amazing paintings and fluid art and helping your communities. Thanks for inspiring people. Now go mix some paint and make a painting. Well, that was my man, Alice Cooper, giving all of us a stand innovation. Thank you so much. And guys, it's Amber. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Amber's Awfully Awesome Art. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm so excited to be doing my third and weekly premiere slash collaboration with the amazing Louise McKay art, Lori Houston art, um, and Angela Bliss art. These ladies are amazing. If you want to get notified when they post their videos, go and hit that notification button and like, subscribe, and share to their channel. Today, I wanted to do a big bloom. I love big blooms, they're fun. And I ended up doing two, but I only recorded one, but they were in fun, fun neon colors. Reminds me, gives me of a Lisa Frank vibe. I don't know if y'all remember her, but she had those really funky notebooks and stickers and backpacks. So this piece really took me back to my childhood. So I'm super excited to share this with you guys. After me, please follow on to Angela Bliss Arts Channel. Also, Louise and Lori, those pieces were amazing. I can't wait to see what y'all create next. Let's get started, guys. My bloom on a 20 by 20 gallery wrapped level three canvas available at Michael's. I have sprayed some water to stretch it out in the back and I am using my jumbo spinner available at winterstromart.com. I will link her website and channel down below. So definitely go check her out. And today I am using my regular uh, PPG Multi Pro eggshell white and pastel base but I got it tinted in this really pretty lilac purple color. And the, cons the consistency was good. It was just the same as the regular white pillow. So I didn't have any issues. I did let it rest uh, for a month or two just so that the bubbles um, could dissipate because uh, it was shaken uh, because it was colored. So here I am spreading my pillow around uh, again, don't add too much pillow because then you will have to tilt and spin a lot um, and you may lose some pretty parts of your bloom. And I will start off with my first color, which is Amsterdam greenish blue. There was my consistency. My pouring medium is three parts Valspar to one part Varathene. And I mixed my paints with that. And with, for my pigments, I did not wet them with Josania. I wet them with GAC 100 this time. And here is this little piggy rave. This is a neon blue pigment. It's really pretty. And I wanted to do blooms with neons because neons are my favorite. And I kind of wanted to do um, or was feeling like a Lisa Frank vibe. I don't know if y'all remember those... Uh, really catchy, hot colored notebooks and stickers that um, girls would have back in the 90s. So that's the kind of look I was going for. And here is this little piggy frost. And I layered Amsterdam greenish blue before I laid down this little piggy frost. And this is followed by golden acrylic dioxazine purple. And uh, this is a really deep, uh, rich purple color. And this will be followed by this little piggy deja vu. Again, this is a neon pigment. The neon pigments do not have any shimmer. They are opaque. But the cool thing about them is if you have a UV light or a black light, they will glow in the dark, which is super cool. And deja vu is followed by golden acrylic viridian green. Uh, this is a really pretty um, kind of a color in between phthalo green and uh, just regular green, I would say, emerald green. And this is followed by this little piggy techno. Techno is a really cool highlighter yellow pigment. Um, again, it doesn't have any shimmer. And I thought it would go really good with phthalo turquoise. And this is golden phthalo turquoise. Um, and my phthalo turquoise will be followed by... Um, 
this little piggy uh, parakeet, which is my absolute favorite uh, piggy. I love parakeet. I just love that green color and the shimmer. And I'm adding these TLPs just to give the piece a little bit of shimmer. Uh, and parakeet will be followed by this little piggy hustle. This is a neon bright pink um, TLP. And my last layer is golden quinacridone violet. And I just thought these colors went really well together, really gave that Lisa Frank vibe. Um, and I did something different with my cell activator also. I used my Amsterdam um, uh, lamp black cell activator followed by Atelier Cobalt Turquoise. So these are the two cell activators I used. It gave a really cool effect. And there's my Atelier uh, Cobalt Turquoise cell activator. And now I will be ready um, to blow with my blow dryer. And make sure you keep your blow dryer on low cool. And I like to use my attachment and gently push your cell activator to the edge of your canvas. So that is what I'm doing right now. Uh, just go really slowly and make sure you get all that cell activator out of the way so that it makes those beautiful cells. And here I am just uh, pushing it again. And make sure you don't dig into the pillow paint. So you really are just pushing that cell activator to the ends of the canvas. And as you notice, I see some cells popping in the middle. I will definitely use my straw to uh, create more cells before I uh, spin. And that's what I'm doing right now, just spreading that cell activator out. And next I will spin my bloom. I did a second bloom as well. I didn't record it but I will show you that result also. And here I am just spinning, making sure my pillow paint goes over the edges. And I, I don't really like to tilt these because they're not a deconstructed bloom. So I just spin the heck out of them. And if I need to tilt, I, I will tilt, but I try to avoid not to do that. And yeah, I am going to give this a couple of more good spins and I will be, um, back with a close-up and an aerial view of the wet results. Y'all, here is the wet result of my bloom. I am super happy with the result. I love the colors. My cells didn't get wonky. I was worried about that, but um, I'm happy that they stayed in place. And I loved the colored cell activator that I used. And here's my second bloom. I basically did the same layering of color and used the same colors, but I didn't want to save them because there weren't that many. So I just dumped everything um, on, on there and uh, just blew my, uh, my bloom out. And here are some more views of the wet result. And I wanted to show y'all something super cool after this. So guys, stay tuned for that. And check this out, y'all. How cool is that? These neon piggies 
glow in the dark and I happen to have a UV light because I wanted to try UV resin jewelry but I ended up blooming instead and uh, this was so cool my kids thought this was super cool so yeah I wanted to share and this with y'all here are the dry results of my blooms they are not resined yet but I wanted y'all to see the shimmer from TLT frost and parakeet and this is my favorite area in this bloom right here along with this area and uh, this area as well I will have all the colors listed down below in the description box along with where you can get them so don't worry and I have uh, these blooms outside because I'm going to spray them with two coats of Krylon UV resistant acrylic pouring spray I highly recommend y'all do that before you resin it helps the resin not to repel from any additives in the uh, paints so yeah definitely recommend doing that and it also controls moisture and bubbles and of course it is UV resistant and y'all here are the wet resin results of my blooms I added some glitter because I uh, just wanted them to look really funky and like Lisa Frank's um, toys and backpacks and um, uh, notebooks so yeah and I just have never used glitter so I decided to and these were just fun fun blooms to do with fun colors just really fun um, and next are the dry resin results sorry the Sun wasn't really out in Texas today so um, in Dallas actually so I couldn't get like a great shot with all the shimmer from uh, TLT frost and parakeet but yeah there you have it they dried really good I used a mixed media glow resin I will have her website and her YouTube channel linked down below so definitely go check her out and next I will share a couple of stills again I had so much fun doing this thanks for joining guys I appreciate y'all so much and stay safe stay classy and stay awfully awesome guys take care Well, everyone, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please join me next week again at the same time, same spot. Can't wait to meet y'all there. Uh, this piece was just so fun to do. Both pieces were just so fun to do. And I love how they each have different character, even though I used the same colors and the layering. I will have all the colors and uh, materials listed down below. So go check them out. Also, if you would like to learn blooms, go sign up for the Shelly Art eCourse. I have the link down below. And don't forget to use my coupon code ShellyArtAG15 and save 15%. Also, if you want to learn more about acrylic pouring, make sure y'all sign up for Rinska Downa, Molly, Mark, and Olga Sobe's Smart Art Courses. I have everything linked down below. Up next is the amazing Angela Bliss. Can't wait to see what you create. Bye guys, stay safe, stay classy, and stay awfully awesome. Until next time, take care.